using Google Maps. So yes, um, that's how much we use in the tour, and it's pretty accurate. But we found some that were only like six digits, and it was off by like a billion or so. So you yeah. don't have to have that many digits necessarily, depending on what you're using it for. If it doesn't have to be that close to a thing, if it was like a thumbnail for just Mercer University, then you can use less. But if it's like the difference between the CS building and Continental Student Center, you probably want to have uh, up to that many uh, And we can also tell Google Maps what type of map exactly we want to be creating. So I'm going to tell Google Maps that we just want the satellite views to go up. Picture from the sky, the bird's eye view of the campus. And finally, we can actually create the map. Yeah. 
Hey, it works on your microphone. Are you noticing it? You're, you're in the... Scroll down a bit, will you, Michael? Yeah, scroll, scroll down a bit. Let's see what the... Um, where it, it's being posted... Oh, oh, that's the mercer I remember. Yeah. I think you pulled it up. 
No, that's right. I've yet to actually go take a look at that. Uh, I drive right. by it at least once a week. Ah, the evil semicolon. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, but. I, all right, so who's still having. Are we all up to max? Oh, did you. Oh, did you do it, is that what it fixed it? Oh, well, you probably need that. Okay. So. I should be taking early days. Um, <laughs> just need to be helpful. It's yours. What do you need? Okay. 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 Sometimes the air gives is the air gives. Okay. Uh, I can Oh, wow. The world is flat. And there's multiple <laughs> copies of the cockroach. Yeah. And, and what was the air I learned How about these? Oh, it's parentheses. This is a parenthesis, and that's a parenthesis. It's, yeah. It's I've got six. Yes. And seven Americas. It's I actually, if you scroll left and right, it's infinite. I know. Do you know mm -hmm. why? That's wonderful. Did that roughly one these pictures? Oh wow! Yeah. If you look at the I have a broken ground on the Mercer football. Oh, the look at look at Mercer Village. So I'll give you an idea. Um, satellite is undefined. I was just saying. Oh no, that's not so. Might be so. That's scary. What he had in his head was unusual. He said that he had he had that too many times. Uh, small village in. Uh, oh, Matt had an idea also. Italy. Oh, capital. Okay. Hooray! Okay. okay, so everyone got a map. Here's purple. That's okay. But um, okay. So aside from a series of syntax errors, it wasn't that hard to set up a base um, system, right? I think the majority was that just not being in the screen. Okay. Anyway, after we created our map, we're going to. Add a marker to it because what's the point of a map if you can't identify places and to look at things? So I'm going to make a function called create marker. Is that inside the init function? Uh, no, I'm just calling it from the calling it from the end of the to create a marker you need to pass it. You need to tell it what your options are like with the map. So you need to tell it what the map is that you're using. And you can tell it other options like whether or not it's draggable or not. And I set my marker to drag. Four or five. Yes. So then you need to actually create the marker. You don't need to set a map equals a map? No, it's a uh, map is the whole map. It's just a marker. You'll, you'll, you'll see. You'll, you'll see. My, my map is now equal to my marker. And you also need a position, sorry, in the options. Yeah, that depends. Yeah. Okay, uh, marker. No, and it, yeah. Okay. 
Raise your hand if you don't have one. Put a label on it. Anyone at all. <laughs> <laughs>